Hello YouTube, Dash Blaze here, I'm bringing you guys two more mods for my mod showcase. The first mod will be the Tool Belt mod, and the second one will be MC Hilly mod, which was a which is a Japanese mod for helicopters. And um, well, first I'm gonna go to the um, Tool Belt first, then go to the MC helicopter. Now the Tool Belt mod allows you to show what items in your hotbar. So if I just get rid of what my items are. Now the tool belt only shows certain items like swords, the last sword you use, torch, any type of potion, glass bottle, an arrow, and a pickaxe. So if I just put them on my hotkey, then go back into F5 mode, get over here. I could have just used shift, but I'm too, too lazy to press the other button. Anyways so, though, so now it shows all the items on you as you can see. So I rotate to another item and it switches off. Same thing. Now there's always will be a pouch on you, which is the chest, and that right there access your inventory. And it will set in your hotkey, which is the items, and they'll show up. So as you see I got my sword right here, I got my There you go, my pickaxe right there. And I have everything there. Now then you can actually change the way it looks. Now it's nighttime, but then because I want to show off the helicopter mods. So actually, let's put these torches in use. There we go. Now then what I was saying was you can actually change it. Now before you do that, you actually gotta go into your um option menu, go to control and actually set your control key for the belt cycling. Now I said master you because the other keys have been used and I don't think there's any other mod that involves you besides not enough items inside the inventory. But anyways though, so first you gotta press right control and then whatever key you assign and that'll change your tool belt. So if I press it now, I now get a rainbow belt which is off like um some movie I forgot. And it basically just changed your items so now they're like across your back and stuff so you can take a good look. Yeah. And actually I like that but let's see. Then there's also the assassin belt, which we all know. Actually, let me go back to the assassin belt right quick. Just occurred to me. There's also items on your back. So now the items will show up on your back and stuff. Now there's other items you can have on to here. Like, let's see. What else can you have on to here? Um let's see a flint. We'll try a feather and a blaze rod. So let's see if those items shows up actually. Nope. Huh. Well, I'm pretty sure that's like another item you can show up on here. But anyways though. So if I press this uh, right control again. It brings up a simple shoulder bag. Which you will most likely see in I don't know Europe. Some place like that. Which just gives you like a little small little inventory box at the side. None of your items show on your belt. And if you press it again. You get the hot bar belt, which basically shows what's in your hot bar. Huh. Do this show actually shows it? Everything around me? Yep, it does. Okay, so the hot bar belt shows everything in your hot bar. Which is, I guess, pretty nifty and handy, depending on what you're doing. Yeah, I like that. So then if we press it again. We have the survivor belt, which actually now puts a backpack on you. And some of your items on your side. So now I have a backpack which just shows like my inventory. Backpack. Anyways. Funny word now I'm thinking about it. Then there's the iChen ripoff belt. Which I'm pretty sure they ripped it off of some uh, movie character. So we just look around again. Oops. What was that? Oh. I didn't move up. It's a little bat. Anyways though. So if I press it one last time. And back to default. So that's the tool belt. Now I'm just going to clear everything off. Now then for you guys who was probably waiting for. I'll probably put a drop into the description. Just say if you want to skip the tool belt go to this part. But anyways though. This is the helicopter mods. And basically just add 5 craftable helicopters you can make. In survival mode. And 1 jet and a laser designator. I'll show you guys those in a second. Now the first helicopter is the Apache. And it's crafted like this. Um, there's actually... I wasn't able to get the crafting recipe for the laser detonator. 
the jet, and the um, other helicopter, which I'll show you guys in a bit. So it's just kind of like this, which is really cheap in the plans mod. And I actually have trouble getting in here, but if you just right click on the pilot seat here, uh, there we go. You get into it, and give me a sec. Alright, sorry about that. Anyways, though, so you get this interface, which is like in a jet planes you would mostly see in like games you play. Most like I see this in Ace Combat when I'm in cockpit view. So you can actually go into F5 mode, look at it, and actually your character is actually sitting in the seat. And not actually having his hands and arms hanging out the window. Yeah, pretty sweet. Now and then, you use the W and S key to move up and down. And then the D and A key, I guess like strap a little bit, but you mostly use your mouse to turn around. So, I fly up a little bit. And you get this little gauge. Now, flying is actually pretty hard for me, so I'm going to try to get up. So yeah, you have to be like... Okay, so basically, let me describe the interface. So, you get like a... If I... Can I use this? No, I can't use that. Use this, and I can't use that. But... Anyways, though, so on your bottom left, you have like a little compass, a gauge, which like tell your speed, and I, I don't know what the other gauge is. And on your bottom right, you have a little uh, radar, which shows your location of mobs and stuff. Now, you also notice on the bottom left you see weapon, which is the machine gun, which is actually explosive machines, which not machine, explosive bullets. Yeah, pretty good. And it reloads, it gets the more powerful the weapon, the longer it takes. And if you press G, you can switch the um, weapons, so you got rockets, pretty sweet. You got um, AIM-92 Stingers, which for some reason I can't use, I don't know how to use it. I'm pretty sure you gotta use like multiplayer against other people. And uh, I don't have nine enough items in, so I can't really change it back to um, morning. So anyways though, if you press C, you can go into night vision, which is actually pretty good at night and not good in the morning. I want to show you that a little bit later. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see things pretty good. So, if you press G again, you get Hellfire, which is something that I can't use. Well, at least I think I can't use it. Yeah, I can't use it. Then there's also Hellfire TV, which you can actually fire. Uh... I think that dropped the bomb. I'm gonna see kinda like move back a little bit without actually now a little thing to be noted when flying this is that you have to hold down the WS, I mean the W key, or you actually um begin to fall back. So I don't see any bombs. Hover hover. Anyways though, so we press that again, you get the A10 GUA. 8 Avenger. Now these right here sends out like a for some of you Black Ops player a Rolling Thunder. Not Black Ops, I mean Modern Warfare player Rolling Thunder. And it basically just works just like just click on the target and then yeah and it actually destroys the object. So I'm going to try to fly over there a little bit to take a look at it. Alright. Yeah, destroy it. Now then um what else is got? It helps oh and the chain gun again. Now then if you press H while actually flying you can switch to like a first version of a gunner's. So I'm gonna show you that. Which is right here. Which I think keeps the um helicopter idle and allows you to actually freely move around. So anyways though, go back to hovering mode. If you press V, you send out flares. Which once again could be used to multiplayer to divert stingers, which I'm pretty sure those are. So that's about it for this right here. Um if you press shift, you can get out. Oh, and to hover, press space. Now and then let's go over here and check out another one. Now I did mention this as a Japanese mod so if you want to go and look it up or try to download it use google so that way you can translate it or it's going to be very hard to understand it 
Now this right here is a killer egg. Ah, I hate slimes. So no, they love flap, flap, flaps. Just die. You know, I was actually thinking about adding the Flans mod into here. I should have actually. So I can just. It'd been way easier to kill these guys using a, you know, an AK-47 or an M1. Hell, even a rocket. Anyways, though, back to the mod. This right here is a killer egg, and I hate. There we go. This is a killer egg, and it's crafted like this. Uh. My bad. Messed up on there a little bit. Anyways though, so you get a killer egg. And actually they have no um, pictures, just the name. I'm not sure they're going to change or not. So anyways though, you get into the killer egg. Just by going to the driver's seat. You actually got to get real close to it. And you get this in the face. And a nifty little um, in the head. Anyways though, so you got uh, mini guns again. You got Hydra 70 meters rockets, which I'm pretty sure. There you go. Yeah. There's more rockets again, so we press this. Stingers, and the mini gun again. So it don't have that much, and it's got flares. All the um, helicopters got flares. So yeah, it's actually pretty slow. Um, but more stable, if you ask me. So I'm gonna drop this here with the other. And let's move on to the next one. I actually downloaded this map, so, um... I might actually leave a link in the description to where I'm, um, this map builds, and you can download for yourself if you want to use it for, I don't know, a map with this mod. Anyway, this right here is the Tiger. And it's actually, I've, I'm pretty sure it's the fastest helicopter in here, so it's made like this. Once again, still cheaper than Flynn's. And you just, where is it? There you go. Jump into here, and let's see. S N E B. So I'll just fly up. So let's see. So A and D don't do nothing. It's pretty much like I do you. So yeah, just more rockets again. I think they're more pop. Oh, nice. Anyways, though, and then we got another M Stinger and Hellfire, which I think is allow you to shoot down those missiles, which I'm pretty sure is stuck in screen. And there it is again. So. Once again, not that much. Of course, you can have like a base and like aircraft hangers. So now you have more than just plans. So I'm just going to drop out of here. And they all have um, night vision. So it's pretty good. Now the next one, which is the, which is the U.S. Navy SEALs. Um, it's a Seahawk craft it like this and get this right here now the Seahawk if I can just nope wait a minute ah you know the mod creator really need to oh no make the the action there we go bit close a um, bit more further out than so up close anyways though so let's see if we get missiles Hellfire. Oh, the pigeon. Now, I like the pigeon, though. So, the pigeon basically launches out a missile, and then the missile actually flies forward first, and then launch down at your target. So, if I aimed it here, forwards, and then down. And it also spreads on fire. Pretty nice. Then, there's also the torpedo. Which... I'm pretty sure that right there is starting to lag out the little streak. 
which I still haven't figured out if it's working or not, but apparently, let's try. A remote. There we go. Drop speed now. Let's see, make sure there's anything else in here. Hellfire, Pigeon, Torpedo. Alright, so I'm going to um, fly up a little bit, jump out, and you can see the Torpedo fall. The Torpedo actually got a pretty good model to it, so. Yeah, I'm going to. Why won't it fall again? Let's see. Where is it? Hmm. Heh. <laughs> now let's think about these. They actually will idle their self low so they won't crash. So that's a pretty good thing. So no so no matter how high you are, you fall out, your helicopter will actually slowly descend to the ground. So you have to worry about no crash and exploding. But anyways though. Using the torpedo is hard, so I don't know. Probably fix on that later. Probably make it a bit more. Anyway, so I didn't find a um, where should I found the um, crafting recipe, but there's like a few more in there, and I couldn't really figure it out. So yeah, you actually have to look it up yourself, and you can probably figure it out. So this right here is the little bird. Yeah, little bird. And let's see. It seems to actually don't have any guns. Strange. Still night vision. Let's see. No guns at all. I guess it's a little bird because it's peaceful. I'm going to drop you off over here. Not much to say about that. It's pretty slow. Pretty good for moving around. It's more of a transport. More of a lookout type helicopter. Whoever created this map is actually pretty good details in this helicopters. Mm, not much for the... Oh, it's a Japanese jet. And the last helicopter is a Helix. Now, if I fly this off, actually, this is how you make it. Um, again, another fail. Just like this. Now, actually, there is something else in this mod, which is a chain, which I didn't... I actually saw the craft recipe for the chain but I didn't actually know which one was it cause like other craft recipe like that show the recipe and then show what the item makes this one just shows you the recipe but doesn't show what item it makes so that's why I got confused so actually if you play some um mine card or you know anything that can actually be movable you can actually place a chain on it so if I I don't know there you go you heard that was a chain and if I go over here and click onto this there you go. You get like a little chain hookup. So now when I fly off, I can also tailgate this with me. So if I just jump into here. From my way. Get in. There you go. Let's see, I got some S5M 7mm rockets. Some lab DCs. Car. And another. Alright, so... If I just fly up a little bit. Yeah. So I now have a if I go to F5 mode, you can see there's actually a little mine part underneath me. So that's pretty good if you like want to transport mine cart to another area. So anyways, you got missiles not rapid fire pretty slow but this right here though if I'm correct is a bomb yeah it's a bomb so let's take a look if we can see what type of bomb it is so I'm gonna fly up first drop the bomb then jump out and there we go alright see that it's like a napalm of course I was still in flying mode so I didn't realize that. What the heck? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Gah. So yeah, probably get out of here first. 
I keep um, pressing space, things gonna fly me up. Anyways, though, so then if I press G again, I get the call 30, 35. Um, this a bum again. I didn't hear an explosion. I want to try dropping it one more time once it um, come back. All right. Anything? Nope. Guess it's dead. Look at that. The propeller even spins and everything. Slowly descends. Anyways, though. So now we're actually going to look at this. The laser detonator. Now there's also a crafting recipe. Everything here can actually be crafted, so you can actually do this in survival. But anyways, if I just come over here and destroy this. You actually gotta hit the pilot seat to destroy them. There you go. So now if I come over here and this right here, laser detonator, you gotta get real close, right click it, and you get this. Now it also has a night vision. Pretty sweet. Now anyways though, you press the Z and X to zoom in and out. Z to zoom in, X to zoom out. Then you just press ooh, right click and watch the bomb flows in. Pretty good for you want to destroy somebody's base. Wink, wink. Anyways, though, I've also got to mention, um, Endermans cannot survive it. Uh -huh. Well, that's actually if they get hit by it, my bad. So you press shift to get out of it. So that's pretty good. I didn't actually meant to blow up the runway. Anyways, those. And the last one is the jet. Now, the jet's in work in progress. And it actually has no color or details or anything about it. That's crafting recipe for it, too. Now, the cool thing about the jet, though, is that you can right-click the cockpit. Come on. And the cockpit opens up, and you can get in. Cockpit close around you, see everything. Now, let's see, that's the equalizer. Now, you can slowly move the jet. Use your mouse to turn it. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, you gotta use the D key to actually turn the um, jet. Now, the jet also has night vision. It also got flares. Does it have machine guns, though? Rocket, side wings, Mavic, cluster bomb, and equalizer. Oh, just a Huh? Anyways, though, so you actually hold down the W, begin speeding off. Then you pull your mouse up, and it takes off. And surprising though, I actually got a very weak computer, and it still works pretty well with this. So if you had G, you see a bit of lag. You get rockets. Oh, hit the lag right there. Press G again, you get side wings, which I, which I'm pretty sure is like for air to air combat. You get the Marvic. Oh yeah, like a pigeon. Anyways, and then you get a cluster bomb. I'm pretty sure you guys will already guess what that would do. Drops a little bomb. Look at that. Damn. Oh crap. And back to the equalizer. Now I'm actually gonna try and land this. 
Now to slow down, you just hit um, S to go back. Your throttle. Don't crash on me, don't crash on me, don't crash on me. It's surprising though you have to worry about crashing. Uh, so yeah, that's about the best I can do with the landing. And yeah, it landed on water. You can actually take off on the water, so that's a little note to be added. So you have like an underwater base. Helicopters and jet can actually fly through water, so you know, something good. Look at that cluster bomb. And um, so yeah, that's for the mod. Now I actually want to try and see can I land a helicopter on the H, but I think I blew it up. A little note to be added, when the helicopter blows up, they burst in flames, so you can actually shoot down other copters. So let's try with the Apache, which is my favorite one, even though it's still, there we go. Come on, get up, there we go. Let's see if we can land here. No, 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 no. It's actually very hard to control. Where are you going, you stupid copper? Hover, hover, hover. Look at that. Look at all those mobs on the radar. <laughs> Crap. Anyways then, this is it for this mod showcase. If you like this, please like the video, comment below, and I'll get up to another one. Thank you. Bye.